Yo guys, what's up? For today's video, I actually got a special guest, uh, Garrett G from NRG, to come and hang out with me and talk over these replays that was actually from um, the second regional, the upper semifinals in RLCS X. And uh, so actually, I know you guys come here for maybe like coaching or see what I'm thinking, but this ended up just being more of like a podcast type thing with Garrett, where we were just kind of talking, bouncing off ideas off each other questions here and there um so you guys have to let me know um for the next time if i bring a player on if you guys would like me to ask them what they're thinking in certain situations or if you like the style that we did but either way i hope you enjoyed it uh i appreciate gary for coming on it was good fun i enjoyed it uh just bouncing ideas with other players other teams see what people think other teams think how everyone works you know it's good fun but uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh make sure to subscribe and like i'd greatly appreciate it all right peace is this right. the day where I was like, I think I asked you like, oh, should I use Finnick or Octane? And you were like, I think it was the day before. And then, yeah. Yeah. And then I ran the Octane anyway. Oh yeah. yeah this, this preset. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to no. lie. You like, started off the series in Fennec, I think though. Did you? Oh no, you didn't. I, think, no, I was I like, where's the Fennec? The I switched at the end and then I remember like, I, I'm not going to lie. Like I'm not trying to discredit the series here, but I was like, I wasn't even playing bad, but I felt like, oh my God, this is rough. Like, yeah. This I don't. One of the, this is one of those oh. days. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, like, I was playing that great either. That's why, like, I always, it's always, like, tough. Like, if I want to um, schedule, like, or decide in series I want to do, because I'm like, uh, I played ass in that series, but still. Yeah, no, I still get to watch back. And I swear with how many games there are, like, I have more games that I feel like that than before. Yeah. Like, I, like when there was only seven games, I'd be so, like, Facts. focused and stuff that... You never, yeah. you rarely feel off. Or the series like, oh, where you feel really good, it's like the ones that are not the big series that everyone's watching. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. All right, so we were just talking over like the first 20 seconds and a goal happened. Okay, a little bit boring play. Yeah. Honestly Same surprised thing. I got that. Usually Justin cuts me up every time in that scenario. Yeah, Justin, I get dusted by Rizman. Bang! Yeah, that was just a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. absolute clanger. That was a good bump, though. Yeah. And then Squishy, I don't... Squishy, I think, was like... He I definitely had faith in Justin there. I think that's... Yeah. He was kind of... And he's like... He kind of just, like, Justin parked under the ball. I mean, I guess he would have yeah. mattered, but... Yeah, if j -Naps didn't get that bump. I think we were calling out to bump, but, like, my shot was so bad that I was, like, surprised when it went in. Hey, Loki might have worked better than a good shot. Justin might have been able to, like, jump nah, over Naps yeah. or something. Yeah, but my only worry was actually getting on target there. Yeah. All right, let's go back to Garrett because nothing really happened. Yeah, back to my POV. Bang. Yeah, if you're watching this, never use this preset. This is hideous. Was I don't it? know what I was thinking. To it's like honest, Monkey Moon with the etchies. Oh, it's Stern. Yeah, Stern. Oh. No, it's Stern. I was trying to start a new wave, and it just yeah. did not. Look at that! Look at that! Look Bang! At that. <laughs> I feel those. That's you're like, where's the power? <laughs> yeah, where is the power on that? That's why Fire never used Octane. Yeah. Always blend the, blend the car on that one. I mean, so far, one thing I've noticed, like, in the only 50 seconds is, like, you're very focused on, like, controlling your boost as you have zero. But, like, I haven't seen you, like, go below zero boost except for that one time where you just were right there. Before, you've always been, like, on 100 boost or, like, 100 to 50 range. So, yeah. like, I don't know if you've done that your entire career, but do you always try and focus on, like, having... Well, yeah, I, I mean... I, for sure, like I've always tried to, but like especially this season, playing like, I mean, playing everyone, you just have no boost. Like all the there's like six teams now to where it feels like it's so hard to have boost control. So yeah, I would say like that's probably something I've always focused on, but now more than ever, yeah, you have to yeah. do that. I feel like where you're just starved in your net the whole time. Yeah. Okay, good classic rotation. See, like here, um, I think this is like. Something that differs from like our playstyle compared to yours, because when I see this, um, so let me go back just to give context. So like Justin fifties it, and then like Justin starts heading back. I assume right? He's like probably mm -hmm. gonna be third man. So like here, since I see like in my head, I think Justin's going back. I mean, you're probably gonna tell me like what you're thinking, but I see Squishy like going up for a play and he has control, so I would turn mid. Um, yeah. But did you just think that Rizzo is gonna get a, get a, like a challenge off, so you don't want to risk it and like go upfield and leave Justin back? Yeah, I think I, yeah, I think that's just a play style thing. Because in my head, like the best thing we can do here is like a fifty and spills back to me. We're not like, or Squishy just pops off and scores. Like I yeah. feel like so. 
I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a play yeah. style thing. Also, Justin does have like a tendency to turn. So like I'm kind of like always, I'm not yeah. like always pushing up super fast, but I think there, yeah, I expected Rizzo to maybe get a 50 and I just didn't want to leave Justin because I don't know where you are too. I don't think here. Yeah. So if I think it's a good 50 there. I'm just kind of like chilling just in case. Oh, you're in the corner. So doing fine. But yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to play like in between. Yeah, know, it makes like sense. I there if something happens, but yeah, because I think, uh, well, I Scoochie ended up did kind of popping off because he bumped JNAPS and got me pog. Double bump, yeah. Yeah. And Justin yeah. Ended, you know, I definitely think older. that's like a lot of teams play style nowadays. It's like the first man try and like solo play something. Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys are, honestly, sometimes I feel like Rogue will pass there, but you guys are like yeah. one of the most pass heavy teams on that. Yeah, but it works. Sure. It works a lot of times. It works a like, lot of the times. It doesn't work a lot of times. So it's like yeah, one of those things. You gotta that, have the. You gotta have the like full confidence. In yeah. Your team. Like we don't. We really don't. We pass, but it's not like I can 100 percent trust this is gonna be a pass. Yeah. But it's like at the same time you have Justin and like Loki. Like I don't know. I feel like Loki's sometimes we're better just trying to solo play there anyway. Yeah. We're not bad at passing by. Oh means, my god! I even. Wow. I don't know. What I don't know that. Yeah. Rizzo almost slotted that. <laughs> yeah, because basically what I've noticed is like you use like you you're kind of just been lurking so far until your time comes, and then you're like you like try to make a solo play or just like do whatever you can with the ball, and then you like rotate out and just kind of reset. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, damn. My my play style is definitely the most like uh, weird it's ever been to me. Like I'm not really a third man, but I'm not at the same time. Like I'll go yeah, all aggressive. in here, but I very rarely, yeah, I very rarely go. So unless I'm popping off, I rare, I'm, just, I, I never like in first man really anymore. But there's no, I mean, I kind of like it. To be honest, but. Yeah. Oh, there's arrow left. Yeah. Arrow Were left. you trying? Still on it? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I, I was trying to dunk this. Were you? Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like because by I, this angle. I see you, I'm like I'm getting dusted. Oh, that's five. That would have been tilted if I got scored on by that. Like just because like in the heat of the moment as a player, I'd probably be like, "That's so lucky," he, like yeah. wasn't even trying to do that. I mean, but, I'm pretty sure I was. I, maybe not, but I feel like I would have taken a different line yeah. if I was trying to score. I'm sure you would have been like, if you were trying to just put that straight in, it would have been a little bit closer. Yeah. That was spooky. Cargo flipper said. Oh yeah, see those ones in a blue moon. It's a good bang. See, like right here. Are, do you have the intention of passing a field or are you just trying to get it out and like clear I, pressure? I, yeah, I if I would have known this, no one was I in my head. I'm like, oh, Justin's going to be there. Yeah. So if like I would have known he wasn't going to stay there, which is super hard to call him that quick all the time. I would have just hit it forward left probably more. Yeah. And try and straight follow on it. the ground because you guys just have a straight possession off this and I have no boost. So it's kind of yeah, it's not I bad, think... but it's not and like it's not a good situation. I feel like. Yeah. And I think one thing like a lot of people do just in general is like um give like they either with comms being messed up or just not knowing because your teammate like you can't see them on the screen is uh people just assume where their teammates are and then if their teammate isn't there like with miscommunication or something like that then you just end up giving possession away and that just like leads to a goal when reality like if you just hit this in the corner like even if you don't I like keep it close enough. I think you still get a 50 off for someone because there's literally like yeah. no one on the left side of the field. Yeah, it, I feel like, and I don't like the meta, but I low key think that's why being super selfish is kind of the meta because, yeah. like, you just have so little room for error on stuff like this if you just always play alone. But obviously, you're kind of readable if you always play alone, but still, no, nah, it's I not feel it, that. like make, mixing the two is so hard. Like, it's actually yeah. insanely hard to mix both play styles. Yeah, no, I feel like playing selfish is definitely the wave just or right now because. I feel like I need to like start focusing on practicing like my solos and stuff just because like it's just so hard to score even if you get a good pass or like a good just like counter attack off that it's sometimes not even worth it even if you get the playoff just like you have to get the perfect shot just because people are so good at defending now oh yeah, my big is, pre jumps this is the yeah that's kind of ape <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it kind of worked I mean we have pressure but uh this was the first tournament you guys like. You guys changed your place a little bit for this tournament, didn't you? Yeah. Because I remember talking oh, about like I knew I knew yeah. this is, is this what game is this? Is this game? It's a game two. You guys won remember, the first game. I remember the first couple of games. I like instantly noticed that because, and, and it's funny because it, 
oddly like it looks worse like i remember sis was like they're off or something like no they just changed their place on it like literally felt harder to play against than yeah like, we still had close series before like why it's like one goal but it feel, still felt different like uh, it's really hard to explain but i could tell you guys were trying to even that jnap's air dribble 50 before was like something i feel like he would never do like he would try to pass or instantly shoot that where is it are you talking about like the pre-jump super far it's super far okay that. well uh yeah, I just think, like, I don't know how, mo like, you guys or other teams handle it, but, like, I think um, maybe it was, like, something you guys was squishy or you've just been doing constantly, but, like, adapting is, like, we always try and adapt little things, but, like, this was, like, the first time we tried to adapt, like, basically our play style into something else, but, yeah. uh, are do you guys, like, always trying to adapt Same. constantly, or are you, that would have been clean? Um, well... Our whole mindset is different with Squishy because Squishy thinks about how to play more than like, like Turbo is just like kind of like super confident no matter what. And he has one kind of mode. So like he'll still change his play style, but he's never, he's not actively like thinking about it. So we actually like think too much sometimes. Yeah. So we've had, we've tried to change our play style like uh, probably like six times in the last couple months. Like, so, yeah. but we, we always end up defaulting back to what we normally do. But yeah, we're, we're constantly like trying I mean, so I remember there was a little period where we were like, we're going to just go full out passing like you guys. Like when you guys won, I think you guys were like winning two. You beat us like three grids in a row or something. We were like, dude, we need to have more pressure. And then regional two came along and we were kind of passing uh, a bunch more. But it's really hard to really hard to fully commit to a new place. Oh, it's about to be pain. How's that? Oh, there's one second left. Oh, my God. Yeah, this was. <laughs> I can't. I don't even. What were that comms like? Just was like again, and then. Boom. I don't. Rem I don't remember to be honest. This was. I. I was like Jesus Christ. In my head, I was like, dude, that was. I always think about what the other teams feeling like yeah. instead of like myself being happy. So I was like, that's probably so annoying. Yeah, because I think I remember in our head we were like, sorry. I think this was like a pretty good game. Like it was close. It was a little bit back and forth. I think you guys had a little bit more pressure, but like we weren't feeling like we were getting outplayed. Yeah. And then as soon as the zero second goal happens and like a, going down 2 0, it's just like, bruh. No, that's yeah, it like, we need to like a game where we, it's like you, you're like, thank God we got that because it's like a spooky feeling yeah. game. Well, I'm just going to go back. But like, so far from this game, I mean, I don't know if it's just like RLCS type like play style, but you guys seem like in this specific tournament, um, you guys kind of were like, trying to be there for each other but it was more of the mindset like every player like kind of everyone's selfish like i'm gonna let this dude do his thing in the corner and try and get a 50 off and then i'll follow it's not it's more like the safe but like kind of there in case the ball pops out yeah and tell, tell you the truth this is the, we didn't like play insanely well this we played good in this series but we didn't play insanely well this tournament but like the tournaments we are finding each other or when we play the best yeah. and this is definitely like well, Squishy found Justin there, but we, yeah, we were definitely like, trying to find each other, but sometimes it just doesn't. It's a weird dynamic when you have someone who can literally 1v3 occasionally. So like, you're kind of like feeling out, is that going to happen or do we need to like play together? It's a weird, it, yeah. I feel like we're a different team every tournament, to be honest, because of how, like some, like uh, the regional one winter, I was like playing insanely well, I thought. So I was like super aggressive. Yeah. Squishy was, was pretty far back. So we just, I feel like we changed literally every tournament based on how we're feeling. It can make it, I think it's a good thing and a bad thing to be honest. Yeah. With I mean, do you guys think you have like a best place? Like, is your best play style when you guys like are passing more? Are you solo playing more? Are you bumping more? Like, I, I, I mean, you well, don't got to get the secrets away, but just in your head, you're like, ah, uh, I think we like hit each other up a little bit more when we're playing the best that we are. I think, I think, um, I think we're, yeah. I mean, truth, it's a mix. I, th I think we're playing the best when we're. <laughs> it's gonna sound like such a dumb answer but when we're making the right decisions like when we're when we're deciding to control the ball when it's the best we just that's when we win stuff is when we're making good decisions like every time you know that's just hard to do but like uh, like when we peaked this season so far it, we were we were mixing like controlling the ball and passing on offense and uh whenever we're just all in a really good mindset and like are able to make that decision ourselves without needing like someone else to tell us what to do constantly that's yeah. I feel like that's when we're when we're just in when you're an autopilot and you're just like making all the right decisions of uh changing up your pace i think oh, you're not just wow. playing one way that's yeah that's when we play the best so do you I think mean. there's like a way you guys can hone that in or is it just more of like a individual type thing i i think it's a uh yeah i think it's both but i 
I feel like, especially nowadays, you just have to be feeling it that day. You can obviously improve and stuff, yeah. but like I just think like the past two regionals, I feel like everyone in Envy has been playing well. Like there hasn't yeah. been the turbo's been playing mistakes. especially well. That's what yeah. I noticed. Like, like when turbo's just, playing especially well, that's when I notice that like, Envy's usually playing their best because he's just like so good at midfield. Just all that. Yeah, and Turbo is like super speedy recently too. Okay. Which is was like regional one. It's I remember I was Dominus getting spooked because yeah, like, he was just dusting me. I was like, what the? Heck? Not I can't believe normal. Squishy pre-jumped that. I thought Justin actually saved that. Yeah, from my point of view, I was like, it's like this is the one thing that I think like it's like a risk for you guys in this situation, but it also be a risk. Like, since, like, on defense, our mindset a lot is, like, try and pass the ball to each other and get it out. Um, which sometimes can get risky because that's two players out of the play. Um, yeah. But also, like, here, uh, I feel like a lot of players, because um, without, like, if you make a misstep in rotation, kind of like Squishy and Justin, like, they both turn at the same exact time. I'm just trying to get a touch to, like, feed myself again to, like, just put pressure on or like not give the ball right away in possession um so like i hit it and then like i try and get another touch which he just reads me i yeah. guess but and yeah if you, if, if you want to go back to my touch this yeah. is why I like just air dribbling is the meta oh if i yeah. just would have kept this to myself instead of doing whatever this was then there was just there was no problem here but instead like i just kind of boom it no well, this is also like right here you can't see anyone on the ground so this yeah. is where comms are like I'm most important. To pass. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely trying to pass this, but. But like, this is where comms can like, if, uh, it's probably like, you have to be like thinking like actually on just pure 100% brain power also with communication. Like if uh, your teammates say it super early that like, I don't know if they're looking, but if they say like just control and you help your teammates out that way, then this is never a goal. Cause you just like, end up 15 or dribbling one of us and then like this whole possession never happens which is yeah. crazy just like how basically comms can like almost make every goal like never happen yep and then uh a level beyond that what i was talking about before like if i just was more aware there before that that's yeah. when which is hard to do like you have to be like super i just think there's days where you just feel so aware where like you just yeah. know what's going on the entire time and then when all three people are doing that it's like you obviously still need comms, but the less you need, if you can rely on no comms, you would like be really good. But obviously, that's impossible. Right. I just mean like being yeah. well aware. It's that's... hard to do that every every tournament. Yeah, it's impossible. I always try and do that. I think I end up like overthinking because it's so hard at like the RLCS level nowadays to like focus on your teammates' comms, like everything they're saying, as well as focus on like what the other three players have just done or are doing to like know in certain situations where everyone is and try and like process that all in like real time. That's like the troubling thing for me. Yeah, I, like I think it's different for you guys too, because uh, you guys have really, really good comms. Like we have good comms, but our comms are like not. Yeah. To your guys level, I feel like. So sometimes we like have to talk less so that we don't. I mean, that could be a good thing out. though. Yeah. Like yeah, it's, we, it's we all really team do, based. We, we really do like it. We really do work the best when we're all just thinking to ourselves. It's like really that weird. Makes sense. But like sometimes we just don't calm for a scrim and it works out really well. It's I mean, really that's odd. just like basically just describing the meta right now is yeah. like I, I think a lot of players like want to look at other people's teams and just copy that but i think it's like such a like teams and players just all work so differently that it's impossible to know like what works for you compared to everyone else yeah it, it definitely changes per team how would that's you guys say you guys like this is just a pretty general question but how much you guys focus on like uh adapting mid-series a lot yeah a lot for sure too i think to to the point where it's too much like yeah. myself especially i think i do that way too often where after the series i'm like dude i should have just just kept playing because i think it to me like in my opinion there, if it is something changeable like you might as well go ahead and mention it but sometimes i feel like it's best just to regain and forget about it and just keep doing what you're comfortable with because like yeah. changing your entire play style is something we've tried to do mid series like too much just because we think oh this will counter then let's try this and you just end up overthinking yeah but i think changing little things obviously is good like oh don't pass that well like, you know you can change that but do you think like uh do you think you've ever like you guys have ever lost a game where you felt you were playing well and then like just because you like lost 
you you're like, all right, we need to change it up because we lost, or is it more of just like anytime you lose, not very where you're not like you don't feel like you're playing very well, then you change it. We've definitely we've yeah we've definitely tried to change things when we didn't need to, like we felt good and lost still, but I think it was just like us nervous and like overthinking type type yeah. deal. But we've had both. I mean, we've had games where like we just needed to like uh when we got forward by envy like we definitely were trying to change things because whatever we were doing like wasn't working we only lost by one goal so like really it didn't feel that bad actually you know what i'll tell you that bad that's a series where we probably shouldn't have tried to change anything because we were losing by one goal and we were we weren't even like getting destroyed really like they it's were just, just like one, playing better just one good goal by them yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and like like they were playing really well don't get me wrong but i think like we didn't need to change anything because, I mean, when you're losing by one goal and it's, like, really, really close games, I think all, it just comes down to, the, I don't know, the ice at that point, I guess. Yeah. And has got a lot of ice recently. Yeah. I think it's just, like, perfect example is in uh, lowers, we played Space Station, we were losing by one goal, and then the last two games we got destroyed because we were overthinking and, like, trying to fix it and change things. So it's, like, balancing. I think that's why I've always talked about how, like, for some reason, the players who, like, think the less... Are the most yeah. successful like all three of dig they don't think <laughs> like they really like don't they just play they, they're so confident and they just play yeah and uh i think it can either go terrible or it can work really well especially on land see i think like right here is exactly like this is like the carbon copy of like uh, us 24 7 like or before we tried to change things up like there's literally three people back and like at this point you're down two goals so you kind of need to go a little bit aggressive and try something but like I barely beat Justin and now it's like a 3v1 or like a 2v1. Yeah. So that's like mm -hmm. exactly like if you don't play this pretty well, then it just and Rizzo gets a good challenge off, then it's a goal. So I think yeah. that's where like I, we're I trying always to notice that with you guys because it would always be you, like, well, it would usually be you or J Naps in a 1v2 or something. And when you guys were playing well, you guys were playing that situation good. But yeah. it was like when we would beat you, it was just because we would score on those opportunities. It felt like. I, yeah. I, like, I will talk about uh, season nine league play. Like we, I think we were on defense the whole series, and then I yeah. just had like four cross map goals. Yeah, I remember that was like, like you have such to be a playing so well, was. dude. That yeah. was so tilting because I remember uh, I I so Justin gets a good beat, and he like I I'm like okay, he's getting another touch. And I was like okay, that's a good dime, and then JNAPS calls it. And I'm like, all right, I know, I see what Justin's doing. He's going to bump him. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get this. And then Justin redirects oh, yeah. it. There's no yeah. way he was trying to do that. No shot. No, no, yeah. That was just luck. <laughs> I remember that. At that point, it was like, oh my God. If we yeah, lose this game, it's GG's. What's the series score at this point? Is this the next uh, game? You guys are up 2-1, I believe. Okay. So you, this is game four. No, we. you guys won first two, and then we win the next two, and then... It goes, you guys win, then we win, then you win game seven. Yeah. See, the problem with me is, like, I just feel like so what I need to, like, get on my solo play slash selfish mentality better. Because whenever, like, I, especially against SSG, they play so slow and, like, um, selfish-based that it makes you kind of play selfish. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that, like, I feel like I, if I'm not playing well individually or, like, doing the solo, then I just feel like a detriment. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm so used to getting passes and just that's how I play well. And and then if that, if I'm like, cause if my solo plays aren't working, I'm just like, oh, I'm a detriment. Yeah. So that's why is. SSG just tilts me to play sometimes. It, it, it is tilting. Cause you, you like, and for, at least from my POV, it's like, you kind of have to match what they're doing to beat them. It's really, yeah. unless you're just like connecting on all, like everything is just working. You have to feel like I feel like you have to control it too, like the way yeah. they do in demo them and it's, stuff like that. It's crazy how much RLCS has just developed into like a playstyle thing. Mm -hmm. There's just like it's kind of like the I NBA really or like worse. football. I think it's worse because it's been online for so long too. Oh my god, I really, I really think because so. I don't know. Like this is something I think about all the time. I don't know how all this stuff is going to translate to land. I don't think at all think, for a while. Yeah, I I think. Uh, if there was lands this whole year, I don't think the play style would have been like this because yeah. everyone tries to improve their land play style, like the land teams at least. And I think uh, everyone's been online for so long that they've, like all these crazy things that people do now, just I don't think they ever would have thought of doing them well, if they were losing lands doing doing it, you know? I don't know if there's an official stat, but like in terms of all three players playing against, like playing together, I don't think a single team is like that, like that is qualified for Worlds at this moment. 
has like played together at a LAN except for us. So that's why yeah. like I mean I'm not I our, our focus is just to make the worlds, but so like losing isn't like we hate it, but it's not the worst thing in the world. But like for teams like Rogue or Space Station and like all these EU teams, I feel like they're gonna like either they're they're gonna need a couple of lands basically. Yeah. To start performing how they want. Well, Especially because so many rookies. Style, it's so like we the the team the seasons we went seven and oh uh, yeah, just seven to zero. Uh, we would have this playstyle perfectly in our heads, and then you get to land, and it's just, it's not the same at all. Like if yeah. you like this ball control, like uh, never really aggressing kind of deal, like never passing. It doesn't. It, I, it really doesn't work as well in land because you just don't have the you just don't have the same level of mechanic. Like you have really good mechanics still, but it's just not to the same level. I think. Yeah, like that's why I think I still think EU teams are gonna be like super. Too. Like good at land because of the yeah. way they play. I just wonder how like these the rookies will do. Yeah, same. But that's truthfully why like it feels like right now when you lose something online, it's yeah. not that big of a deal as long as you play well. Yeah. Because it's like, do you really want to like put everything you have into winning these online events and then having this weird play style by the time you get the world? I don't know. It's a weird balance thing. I feel like. Well, the crazy part is, is for example, like typical kind of claiming the best player in the world title for a little bit. But like we've never seen that typical at LAN, so it's like yeah. that's how long it's been since LANs have been a thing. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna be so bad at the first LAN too. Yeah, it's just gonna be the first LAN. It's needs gonna to be, be like, like two the turbos long. and K -dops, like, and honestly, the squ like Squishy's actually really good at LAN, like really solid. I think it's gonna be those players like doing super well in my in my opinion at least. Yeah, but you never know. That's the thing. That's why I don't, I don't really know. Like I could be completely wrong, but just from like history. Repeat, like if it, history repeats itself, it's like these really weird play styles end up just falling apart on land, and it yeah. just comes down to like it really experience. just comes down to who's feeling it and, and experience and skill. Yeah. Who do you think, if you had to guess, out of like a team that's never played at a land together, so like Rogue, X or BDS, NV, I'm not gonna consider you guys because you guys like have all played at a, a like uh like a ton of land, just technically not together. Mm -hmm. Um, like all these teams that have never been in like uh, that many lands in total, like even maybe SSG because they're like Arsenal and Typical have played lands together, but like they've only been to, like two together. Which team do you think would do super well, like right off the bat? I think Envy is still because of do Turbo. Super well. That and then I think Miss played well. I don't know about Atomic. I've never watched Atomic play on land, so maybe he'd be like their uh, what's X Factor, I guess. But uh, I think Miss played super well at Worlds. And his mindset, I think, is just like, I think he kind of follows him with like the not no like, no thinkers, just play super confident, just play, yeah, type deal. So I think they would do well. I still think BDS will be really good at Worlds too. I don't think any of BDS has played at a LAN, like an actual they, LAN. Yeah, LAN. they haven't. They haven't. I That's think crazy. They, I think they'll do well, though, to be honest. I think they'll have like the super excited like grind, but like yeah. Well, everyone's gonna be excited, but I don't know it. I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you, but I think I still I have to have the most confident in Envy, like still playing super well online. Yeah.